what's up guys welcome back to the channel thank you very much for watching my video and today we have got a little review on my vinyl wrap job that i did over uh, almost two seasons ago i guess so roughly two years as far as mileage i would say probably close to 10,000 miles or whatever i've done on the bike obviously if you look in the back it's got some road grime so i mainly vinyl wrapped it just to actually it's literally just to test it to see how it would work i, I purchased the helmet brand new uh, this is a showy x14 and it's put roughly 800 dollars on it so i figured you know i might as well put a little bit of protectant on it just for a little bit just to keep it you know a little like make it last longer did two tones pretty much three this is a solid white helmet i use vivid vinyl links in the description box down below if you're interested and you really don't need that much to vinyl wrap a helmet this is less than a you know, i don't know 20 40 dollar job take my gopro off take my senna off as well this is a bluetooth system the s20 i only use hero 4 blacks because the new hero 5s sixes and sevens all of them have horrendous battery this is the only system that allows you to have a seamless extended battery so you could record for literally two hours straight, nonstop, 1080p, 60 frames a second. So check it out if you're interested. So I'm gonna go ahead, leave it out in the sun for a little bit. I'll peel it off and then I'll show you guys what it looks like underneath. Then I'll wash it. And then after I'll show you guys the finished product, see how it came out. And then you can also see like over time, I mean, it took a long time for it to do it. it. Started to peel up in just some areas, which, you know, it's kind of expected with a helmet at least. So I did have to glue these pieces. And these are just little. Well, looks super clean under there. I mean, obviously. That's expected, but you know. Oh yeah, dude, that is clean. I have had some people say that if you put vinyl wrap on the helmet, that it it makes the helmet not protect your head anymore. I don't really see how that's even remotely possible, but uh. See, it's stuff starting to split apart now. Obviously it's tearing off, but I would still recommend this vinyl wrap. I mean, it's not leaving much residue at all. All right, here is the final product. You can see there's some residue right here. No biggie, that'll come right off with some rubbing alcohol. So not too worried. And I use the knifeless cutting tape on all the edges and everything. And uh, you know, this glue just looks like it can just peel right off. And if you haven't already, get yourself some of these. I'll put a link in the description. These are fine brushes. It's best for cleaning like those little small nooks and crannies that you always get on bikes and really anything. So highly, highly, highly recommend you get one of these. Okay, here is the final product. Super shiny, super clean, super mean. Just to show you guys. There's probably still a little bit of residue just because uh, I didn't have any rubbing alcohol. This is without any ceramic coating like I normally say on my channel. I use, I use that to clean all my stuff. But this is solely just, I took the vinyl wrap off and I used the soap to clean it and that's it. So, this is probably what you can expect with your helmet. And obviously, if you do it as soon as you get it, the better. So, anyways, that is it guys. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down in the comment section what you think I should vinyl wrap this helmet next. I really like it kind of white like this, or the the pearl white with the with the or the holographic. Uh, I kind of think it's like a pearly white with the holographic look, something like that, or just the white with maybe some black accents, like a like a black strip down here, maybe another one up here. Something cool and simple. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.